Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Today we have to talk about a very hot topic, which is closely related to the chips in our mobile phones and computers, EUV Extreme Ultraviolet Lithography Machine. Don't underestimate this thing. It is the giant panda in semiconductor manufacturing, very precious. Recently, the German media has exploded because of this matter. China's Shanghai Microelectronics has applied for six key EUV patents in Germany. Do you know that this EUV lithography machine is like the advanced oven we use for cooking, but it does not bake bread, but those circuit lines that are thinner than a hair? This technology can make the performance of Chinese electronic products even better, faster and more powerful. Now the global semiconductor industry is so competitive that whoever masters this technology can have the final say in the market. The patent applied by Shanghai Microelectronics in Germany this time covers the core parts of the EUV lithography machine such as light source and optical system. Think about it, this is like cooking at home. The pot and the fire have been upgraded. How can the food not be delicious? These patents not only make the Chinese proud, but also make foreign media and technology companies stare with wide eyes, wondering, is China going to make a big move? Do you know that the most amazing thing about this is that these six patents are not found in the patent disclosure catalogue of the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology of China. This is strange. It is said that Chinese companies that apply for patents should show up at the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology. As a result, there are more speculations from the outside world. Some say that China may have quietly developed more advanced EUV equipment, but it is not convenient to disclose it because its performance is too top-notch. Others say that this may be China's strategic deployment, deliberately hiding it to catch its opponents off guard. Now the global semiconductor market is surging and the competition is fierce. Countries are desperately developing new technologies to gain a foothold in this technological war. Although China started a little late, it has been trying its best to catch up in recent years. Shanghai Microelectronics application for a patent this time may be a signal of China's improved scientific and technological strength. Speaking of which, the specific contents of these six patents are quite technical. For example, the ion beam technology used for EUV light source and the optical system design based on multilayer reflectors are the key technologies in EUV lithography machines. Just think about it. If these technologies are broken through, the future chip manufacturing will be earth-shaking. This not only means that our mobile phones and computers will have better performance, but it may also drive the development of the entire electronics industry. The reaction of the German media to this matter is really mixed. On the one hand, they are amazed at the rapid development of Chinese technology. On the other hand, they are worried that this will affect the future semiconductor chip manufacturing pattern. After all, EUV lithography machines are key equipment for manufacturing the next generation of semiconductor chips. Whoever masters this technology will have an advantage in the technological competition. Did you know that this matter has also caused quite a stir in the international media? Some media said that this is the inevitable result of China's technological progress. Some media are worried that this will break the existing market balance. However, I think we still have to look at this matter objectively. After all, 
Technological competition is a protracted war, and no one can achieve success overnight. It is true that China has made progress in EUV technology, but we also have to see the gap with the international advanced level. Speaking of which, the competition in the semiconductor industry is becoming more and more fierce. All countries are competing in R&D, technology and market. Although China started a little late, it has made a lot of efforts in recent years. Look at Huawei, ZTE and other companies, aren't they the pride of China? They are thriving in the international market and are on par with those international giants. Of course, we must also be aware of China's shortcomings. After all, EUV technology is not so easy to master. It requires a lot of R&D investment, advanced technology accumulation, and a high-quality talent team. Although China has made some progress in these areas, there is still a big gap compared with the international advanced level. Therefore, China has to continue to work hard and keep up. However, having said that, Shanghai Microelectronics application for a patent this time has also brought a lot of confidence to the Chinese. Think about it, if we don't even have the courage to apply for a patent, how can we compete with those international giants? This patent application not only shows China's pace of catching up in the field of high technology, but also reflects the improvement of China's scientific and technological strength. Did you know? This incident also triggered people's deep thinking about future scientific and technological competition. Faced with the increasingly complex international situation and fierce scientific and technological competition, China must pay more attention to independent innovation and talent training. Only in this way can China be invincible in the future scientific and technological war. Finally, I would like to say that this scientific and technological competition is like a marathon. Although China started a little late and ran a little slowly, as long as the Chinese people persevere and move forward courageously, one day they will catch up with those leading players and even surpass them. Therefore, the Chinese people must have confidence in themselves and in the country. I hope that Chinese technology companies can continue to work hard and make efforts. I also hope that everyone can support Chinese technology companies. After all, they are the future and hope of China.